Well, taking a live look at the construction progress on I-95 in Taconi, business owners in the area say they're eager to see traffic on I-95 again and off the clogged side street. That's right. These crews have been working around the clock since this happened, and these closures, as you know, it's meant a lot of lost business for bars and restaurants. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ross Dimonte joining us live in Taconi and Ross. So we now have a timeline for those businesses as to when those road, that stretch of roadway, will finally reopen. Yeah, that's exactly right. Maybe the best news of all is that it sounds like that this temporary stretch of I-95 that they're currently building where the collapse happened will be open within the next two weeks. So that is hugely relieving news for a lot of people. The bad news is, is that this really should be a busy time for a lot of these nearby businesses. It's summertime. We had Father's Day yesterday and now Juneteenth today, but so many of those local business owners tell us that they are really struggling right now. Take a look for proof. This was the scene at Sharky's Grill and Ale House last night. A whole lot of empty tables and an empty patio as well after employees say that a lot of people canceled their reservations last night. Less than a mile south of there on State Road, it was a similar story at Curran's Irish Inn. We spoke with a couple of customers who went all the way out of their way to support those struggling local businesses, but we're sad to see the tiny turnout. It was fun kind of meandering our way through North Philly and Lehigh and Torsdale. I live in Fairmount, so it was a bit of a hike. Even though there's a lot of inconvenience and detours and everybody's having a hard time, we still got life. So, you know, we got to have. But we have to learn to appreciate something. I like his positivity. Now, giving you some more good news here, construction crews are making a lot of progress right now in rebuilding this collapsed stretch of I-95. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation now says that the process to fill it in using material made of recycled glass, that's expected to be done either today or tomorrow. And then crews can start to lay another base down, set up some barriers, and begin paving over on top. Back out here live, we've seen two backhoes really going to work all throughout the overnight hours. We know crews are working around the clock. And to give you a sense of just how much progress they've made, we were out here on Friday, and you see that area below where those backhoes are working? That was empty from where this collapse happened. It looks like they've made huge progress in filling it in again with that glass recycled material. Now, uh, maybe the best news of all, just to stress this again, is that Governor Josh Shapiro was out here with the president, President Biden, over the weekend. And together they made that announcement that in about two weeks' time, they expect this temporary stretch of I 95 to be back open. That would alleviate a lot of the uh, uh, traffic concerns here. And hopefully it will help out some of these struggling businesses as well.